It's the kind of beat to go. Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Joey and welcome to Beginner's Let's Play number 7, I think. I think it's number 7, I think, for the survivors here. And today we're going to be taking a look at what's going to be, guys. Today we're going to be taking a look at Rio de Janeiro. Now, I already started it. I went through, got, went ahead the first four rounds. We have four left to go through in this episode. It's pretty exciting stuff, guys. But before we get into this, we have hit about 525 subscribers, guys. And I want to go ahead and thank all of you for all this crazy awesome growth i hope you guys are all excited to start playing world domination uh first off if you like this video go ahead and drop a like and i want all you guys to go ahead and comment i mean all you guys knew all you new guys go ahead and comment i love getting comments guys i always reply love talking with all y'all but let's get into it guys so let's go ahead and fight now here is my team for rio de janeiro now oh hold up i got something to do really quick let's go ahead and finish my training so i ended up getting my snipers up to level six i have two up to six now and i did that basically because i was playing around with this rio map and everything and it seems like level six snipers have enough damage to be taken out those colossuses in one shot so that's going to be the ticket right there if you want to do that i mean two shots they'll still go down in two but i mean it's always nice to have one shot takedowns i mean can't complain with those let's go ahead and fight rio here's my team so i got captain zeta i always bring on captain zeta because i mean she's the hero unit she's nice to have and she's really helpful when you're going against these pretty tough rounds i got my cop my merc I actually have my scatter shot to level 5, replaced that with my regular mercenary, the outlaw, not merc. And um, those, okay, so let me go ahead and break this down for you guys. So I have my two gunners, which are my main, they pretty much trimmed down that horde very nicely for me. Now I have the outlaws and the two snipers kind of had a lot of powerful damage against the mutated zombies, especially the brutes and things like that. So that's pretty much my reasoning behind those guys. And then we also have the lumberjack to pretty much thin out some of those drones and... That's pretty much my main stuff, guys. Let me see what I can borrow here. I'm going to borrow this. I believe this is an Overwatch. Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and borrow the Overwatch for this map. And we can borrow the Commando in the next one. But that's basically my team right there, guys. It's pretty effective uh, from what I've seen. I'm pretty excited to see how it goes in this round, of course. I mean, we'll see, guys. So let's see. It's really nice, too, because we're actually giving, we're giving a couple Lumberjacks to go ahead and use. So... First wave is going to be coming from this direction over here. I'm going to go ahead and bring out my Lumberjack a little bit. Let's go ahead and throw out a Sniper here. I'm going to put out the Overwatch there. That will really help a lot with trying to take out these Brutes, I believe. That's what they are. Let's go ahead and put, two, put one Sniper there. I'm going to put one Sniper here. Now, over here, we're going to need some guys to kind of help take down people. I'm actually going to throw down my second Lumberjack here. We're going to put Captain Zeta down there because she's pretty much can't be damaged by drones so that's pretty much she's best at let's go ahead and throw down a scatter shot as well move these guys over just a bit closer here to help out and then we'll kind of fill in these rest of these guys based on where they're going to be dropped you know i'm just going to put one on each that way we can get the cooldowns going all right here we go let's start the waves guys here we go so pretty much over here i've got a really close range melee guys going i have a couple snipers out here and these guys are going to take out these mutated zombies pretty quickly pretty easily and it looks like these drones just have to go down but they're going down pretty quickly here guys they're not really we're not running any problems with these guys these drones go down very quick these lumberjacks that's what they're best at taking down drones so they're doing their job perfectly it looks like we're gonna have another wave coming very soon over here i'm gonna go ahead and start it and I may have to stem them up, but I think we're going to be able to throw down a scatter shot here just a second. Let me go throw that down. And a cop. Oh, I can't throw down a cop. That These guys are just going to have to power through for me. Come on, guys. Come on. Got to take out that brute for me. I think it's a Colossus, actually. So I think that's what it is in real life. Let me go ahead and get ready to refresh that lumberjack. Let's go ahead and stem these guys. Flare them away a little bit. And I'm going to start placing some more people over here. Let's get three snipers over there pretty much ensure protection you could say that'll pretty much keep us pretty locked down and put some fill in this, the rest of these areas with these rest of these units we have i mean i'm pretty sure those guys will help kind of fill in so i mean i've pretty much got a whole lot of extra units and i'm doing just fine so i'm not really worried about having to you know lose because look at this we got plenty of extras if we need to refill we're fine but we pretty much got it locked down so Pretty much word of the day for this. Try to get your snipers up to level 6 at least. That'll really help take out those brutes and colossus and things like that. And the daredevils a little bit quicker. And really try to make use of these units that they're giving you. They all have a purpose for some reason one way or another. And they're really going to help you in that way. So we got the one 375 trophies. I don't believe, I believe we lost one lumberjack. But I don't think that was ours. So we actually got the perfect score on this one. Plus our bonuses which just put us over the max. 
and we cleared out just fine guys so really try to make sure that you use those lumberjacks to the best of the ability get some good snipers maybe an outlaw outlaws are always helpful and get your gunners up to a level five i think at this point you're really gonna need them having a level five at least and then you're just gonna have to keep going up from there so we're gonna some coins in this next one so i can't come with that i'm gonna have a machine gunner for this round so this round is gonna be a little bit easier than most because we got a machine gunner it's just gonna make life easier all right so let's see where do i want to put my mg i'm actually gonna leave that lumberjack out for grabs just because i'm feeling lucky here let me go ahead and throw my machine gunner over here i'm gonna put i don't want to do that ah, all right okay i'm gonna put three snipers well two snipers at least over there i'm gonna throw a bunch of gunners in here there we go I'm just gonna roll with that. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna let that mach that lumberjack over there go down. I'm just gonna kind of let him say goodbye. Oh, jeez, I forgot that this is the first wave. That makes things interesting. All right, let's go ahead and speed it up a little bit. Get these guys going because we're gonna have to figure out how this is gonna work. If we can just take out these daredevils a little bit, pr pretty quickly, we should be able to handle most of these drones fairly well. Let me go ahead and stem them up, give them a little extra juice. Take down those daredevils. Run into a lot of drones in just a second. We're easily able to replenish with some gunners fairly quickly i'm gonna go ahead and throw down another lumberjack flare him away just for a second i need to slow this down all right so here we go this is where all the interesting stuff is going to be happening guys i'm gonna go ahead and throw down some snipers here let's throw an outlaw in and that should be pretty set over on that pad over there so this is where it's a little bit exciting we got a machine gunner in play here machine gunners are great at taking out drones they don't have the highest damage in the world but they can still get the job done pretty well so we've got a couple snipers in here they're doing some pretty good work on taking out these brutes a little bit quicker i'm gonna go ahead and stim them up to give them a little bit of a power boost you could say so we can take out those big brutes really quick because those guys are going to be our biggest problem but as you can see that machine gunner is wiping out all of those drones fairly easy and guys i feel like you would have success either way without a machine gunner but it just makes life a little bit easier so it looks like this team right here i got it's working perfectly so if you want to pretty much copy this exactly it's going to work for you regardless of i mean just things like that i mean a little bit of placing and things like that but you'll be fine if you use this loadout and of course you can kind of sub out certain things like maybe a merc for a gunfighter or things like that easy swaps easy switches y'all can fill in kind of how you want to do it but it works this works it works well so we have two more rounds and then we will be off to the finale and i'm actually going to switch up my group entirely into a different team just because i want to save this group all their energy for the very last round so i'm gonna go ahead and use all of these guys who i just have kind of sitting out here let's see i don't even have any snipers this is actually be really rough okay dead shot i'm gonna swap out swap out you do i have any snipers sitting around level one snipers it's not really gonna do much but might as well all right my team power is low but i'm feeling lucky i'm feeling lucky guys Hopefully we'll win. I, it might happen. I'm just trying it for fun. Let's see what happens. All right. So we have some brutes and some stuff over here. This is actually a really close quarters little map we got here. This is interesting. All right. I'm going to go ahead and throw that lumberjack over there. I'm going to throw this sniper. So my sniper is going to chill over here. I'm going to support you with my merc because we're going to be running some problems pretty early. And then the medic. I'm actually need, I need to work. Okay. I need to work on my medic too. Jeez. Lots of things to upgrade, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and start all of this. I'm going to go ahead and throw this contractor up in here just in case the daredevil does get over that wall. He's going to be pretty much stunned instantly. And then let's throw in a gunfighter in there and let's throw a firefighter over there. <laughs> in the meantime, my people are trying to keep these guys safe. So I got a medic on my lumberjack, which is actually really helpful. We can take out that daredevil quick. Our lumberjack should be stay. He should stay pretty healed up from that medic, which is actually very good. So let me go ahead and see what's coming next. All right, this area is going to be coming next here. I'm going to go and throw another gunfighter. Let's get another contractor in there. See how that rolls with us. Hmm. Doing pretty well so far, it looks. Hopefully, they'll kind of focus in on over these guys. Come on. Come on, snipers. Pick them off for me. Ah, there we go. Dropped him. All right, so <clears throat> this is about to get very interesting, guys. Let me go ahead and throw down another sniper here. I'm going to throw down a paramedic over there. I'm going to go ahead and send this wave, and let's see how we go. So we got a couple drones coming. We're going to have three, wave, three waves coming at us at once, guys. This is a pretty interesting little loadout I got going on right now. I'm, I'm going to be honest with you guys. It's pretty interesting. I'm going to go stim these guys up because they need the most help, I think, right now. They got a lot of drones coming at them. I'm going to go ahead and flare them away just real quick. Feed in a Merc right there to help thin out the horde. Looks like we're doing fairly well, but we're going to start running some problems very soon if we can't take out these Daredevils. Come on. 
Looks like a little bunch of stray Jones drones chilling everywhere. All right, so did pretty well without the main team. So that guys, y'all probably be able to handle this, even if you don't have my exact team. But it'll be helpful. So continue, continue on Shober Bolds. What do we got? Good stuff. Here we go. Final round. Let's go and bring back the normal team real quick. Get the Molotov cocktail, the firebomb. Pretty sweet. Oh, the Molotov cocktail. I'm pretty excited to get this, guys. Let me go ahead and update my team here. And we got a level 9 scatter shot from Sir Oscar, which is going to come in some serious help. Okay, it's going to come in handy, guys. Okay, we got the whole squad here. We got to accept that, and we're going to fight the finale. This can always be pretty tricky if they give us a pretty interesting map here. What do we got? Oh, Lord, to be. All right. Okay, get ready, guys. So we got to defend the bottle store to uncover the Molotov cocktail. Let's do it. So continue here. We got some... All the same. Oh, we got two ways coming at once. This is going to be a pain in the butt. This is going to be rough, guys. I'm already calling it right now. So I'm going to put two snipers out here. They're going to chill in the back and just do whatever. So first off, I'm going to go ahead and move this guy over there. Let me go ahead and put my lumberjack down. Let's go ahead and put an outlaw and then this level nine scatter shot. Now over here in this main area, I'm gonna throw down all three of these guys. Now these guys are gonna be very well defended by these walls. However, those daredevils could hop over the wall, but these guys have some pretty solid firepower for what they got. So I'm feeling pretty confident with that. Let me go ahead and send these guys. They're gonna be coming anyway. So we got some drones right off the bat. Here we go. This is when the fun starts, guys. So it looks like we got one sniper focusing on nearly each pad here. And these guys are hanging on pretty well. I think it's gonna really change when we start getting a lot of brutes. Oh, round two, here we go. Let's go ahead and send these waves here. I'm feeling lucky. I'm kind of risking it, guys. I'm going to be honest. I'm being a little risky by sending all these waves at once. But I'm feeling pretty confident in my squad right now because they're doing some good work. Can't complain with what they're doing. Now, I'm going to actually start fortifying some of my other areas here just in case they do manage to get by. We have a whole lot of defense going on right now. We're getting defense from all angles. Let's go ahead and send these waves. Okay, let's send this guy over here. I'm just going to start fortifying a lot of these other pads since these other ones seem pretty well off. All right, this is going to be interesting over here. I'm going to go ahead and throw down some more snipers. Put you guys right there and send this wave right here. So this is actually pretty close to home, guys. I'm going to be honest. So let me go ahead and flare them out just a little bit because I don't want them getting at all close to this bottle shop. If they touch it, I'm going to be sad. Come on. Take them out. There's a couple drones left. Move them up just a little bit. Send a scatter shot there to help flank them a little bit. And we got the win. That's all it takes, guys. It's easy. No problem there at all. Y'all probably got this, I'm sure. And the next one's Cape Town. A lot of you guys have been having trouble with that, but we'll be looking at that in the next episode of Some Salts. Let's go and show the rewards here. We got some cans. We got some mercs. We got the whole crew here, guys. But thank you so much for watching. Let's see. Let's go open and show this reward, guys. The Molotov cocktail. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really do hope you enjoyed this video, as always. And I will see you guys in the next episode. See you guys.